Hey what's up guys, today I'll be reviewing the Resurrection Remix ROM that I've been rocking on my OnePlus One for the past few days. Let's get resurrected. Resurrection Remix, as the name suggests, is a ROM that combines the features of many different ROMs into one. The ROM is based on Android Nougat 7.1.1 with a January security patch. And one of the best parts about the ROM is that you keep getting OTA updates frequently. Starting off, the ROM comes pre-installed with the Trebuchet, Google Now and Pixel Launcher to choose from. The other apps and system experience is very similar to CyanogenMod. Mode. Jumping into the settings menu, you get the usual except for one extra menu called Customization. Here you can change the icons and clock arrangement of the status bar. You can also add weather, network traffic, carrier label, custom logos and even a battery bar. Different panels such as Power dialog, notification and volume panel can also be edited and custom colors can also be set for them. You can also customize the recent and quick settings UI and even add animations to them. The lock screen can also be personalized by adding and removing different elements on it like shortcuts, weather and even off-screen gestures. Other features include adding pie controls or even a circle bar with your favorite apps. You can also switch between hardware keys or navigation bar. Change the system animations, the font, the display size and many other customization options that would take another long video to cover them all. Moving on, let's look at performance. So the ROM works buttery smooth with barely any kind of lag or glitches. There are minimal amount of bugs and this ROM can be used as your daily driver. Memory optimization is also good and so features like split screen also work really well. So there are no performance issues on Resurrection Remix. After that we have a look at battery life, so this was where I was slightly disappointed just because the battery life had no improvement from my previous ROM that was CM13.1. On both I would get about 3-4 to four hours of screen on time and I would barely make it through the day. That is by evening I'd have to plug in the phone. My usage includes YouTube and other social media with a bit of reading. Also I leave LTE on 24-7 and with my brightness settings is mostly on minimum. Personally, I would rate this ROM a solid 8.5 out of 10. It has great performance, many customization options, OTA updates, minimal to no bugs, but an average battery life. 